So, Miss Sherwin Williams Diamond Elves is going to be painting this door. And the name of my company is ML Smith and Associates. And I enjoy painting very much. I also enjoy painting without tape because tape means you have man hours that are wasted or woman hours that are wasted I'm doing what you taped up so I don't like that so the first prep is going to be brush off I began my career painting in 2010 when I was in need of work and as a makeup artist, I used brushes. So I uh, kind of begged my boss to let me get started with painting with him and he gave me a chance. And I've been painting ever since, it's now 2020. So I have 10 years of experience. This house that we're working on is fabulous. So what I'm doing is I'm just brushing off any excess dirt or dust so that that won't get in my paint. This house is very well maintained so there's no scraping or anything like that. I would possibly need to scrape if it was another situation but it's not. So no chipped paint and it's good to just keep your house where your paint isn't chipped. So now I am going to paint this door and trim. And occasionally you do have an oops or two. So I will be getting my rag for an oops or two if I have it. So I'm gonna put some paint in several little sections here because my roller is filled with paint because I went on break. When I went on break, I had to make sure my, my roller was wet with paint a decent amount otherwise it would dry out and I use some of the best rollers from Sherwin-Williams they are not inexpensive and of course you have to go back and replace and all of that so if you keep your stuff intact and try to take care of it life works out a little bit better so I just take with a little short roller and now I'm rolling the paint on the door and after I finish rolling the paint on the door then I will do what's called cut it in so again as I said sometimes you have a little oops and when you have a little oops you keep a dry rag and a wet rag available for little oopses so went over the line here I use the wet one, I prefer the wet one, but sometimes I use a dry one also. Now this is a small, short video. So sometimes your, your, your brush gets all gooky. I was, gooky may or may not be a word, but just it gets filled with stuff. It gets filled with too much paint, which will make your paint brush stiff. So after this, I'm actually going to rinse out my brush, comb out my brush so it won't be so stiff. But right now, I'm just going to show you how I cut it in with the paint, with no tape. I hope you will be able to see this closely. You might have to look at it on the laptop because that's only where I could put my phone for right now. And I could actually zoom it in and we'll get to another demonstration at another point. So I got a decent amount of paint on here. And I take and dot some paint on the door. And I come down right next to the door, bring it back, down right next to, to the door, not to the door, to the trim, bring it back. Then if I want to get rid of excess paint on my brush, just do flat. More paint. Paint on the wall, on the door. Now up, long, decent strokes, 
little baby strokes make it where your paint doesn't look as smooth. So we're not gonna finish this door on this video because it would be boring. But again, get your paint, drop some of the paint next to where you are so you don't get too much paint next to the edge and then just glide your brush up and down when you come back with it make sure that you don't touch the next area and that's how i paint with no tape